Today, we're going to be returning to a map that we haven't hunted in a super long time. In fact, the last time we were hunting here, I do believe we were hunting for wild boar, and we ended up getting a massive diamond. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, man, he's 40 yards out. He's 40 yards out. Let's draw back. No! We dropped him! A perfect shot! We dropped him at 45 yards out! You can see there, we put it right behind that front shoulder. A little bit high, like I said, but that's an incredible wild boar. Let's pick it up. That's going to be a diamond of 146 if we ended up. Oh my God. That's a heart shot. A 44 yard perfect heart and a left lung shot with the whole you reeker bow. That's one of the craziest shots I've ever made with the reeker bow. I can't even believe we took that far of a shot. Had it not been for the fact that I already have three diamond wild boar, there's no way I would have taken that shot. But that is one incredible shot and a 146.4 diamond wild boar. But this map used to be one of my favorite maps of all time. And that's basically because of the wide open fields that you can see for miles out here. I'm talking about Quattro Colinas. But this time we're going to be taking out the muzzleloader. Holy, there's a nice ram out there about 287 yards out. Now, I'm not exactly sure where he's heading to, but wow, is that a beautiful ram. Hold up, we got more coming. Oh my God. Let's see if there's anything decent out here. Another massive ram. Look at that thing. And he's coming right for us. All right, guys. So we got to try and slide over here and see if we can't cut them off as he crosses through this opening right here. We also have a couple more coming this way as well. That is a three, but there is our huge level four. All right, we got a pretty epic setup here because we're kind of up high and we can see down quite a bit. All we got to do is make sure that they don't see us first and we'll be sitting pretty good. Let's see. There he is coming out right there. 160 yards. That's going to be our shot. That's going to be our shot. Let's get ready. Perfect shot. He's down. He's down right there. Woo. Big Mouflon down. All right. All right. Here's our big Mouflon down right here. Let's take a look at him. It's going to be a 155 gold. And it's a light brown. Pulled off a walking left lung liver shot at 160 yards out. Now, we are going to have to compensate a little bit more the next time we take a shot like that. This is actually the second time where we've gone for a front shoulder shot. But because they're walking, we're hitting a little further back than what we'd really like. Nonetheless, we did drop him. And that's epic. But that's not going to happen every time. So we're going to have to adjust the next time we take a walking shot. Nonetheless, that's still a massive move on. Although that was a huge Mufalon, the other one was actually quite a bit bigger. And he's over this next ridge here. So we're going to head over this way and see if we can't spot the rest of that herd. They shouldn't be too far away from this tree. And I also don't believe they would have spooked from that shot either. All right. Well, it appears that this is definitely not a wide open field. In fact, it's a field full of lilacs and it's super, super dense. Well, I can't find his track anywhere. I found a couple of smaller males and some females here. But I don't believe that's the same herd that he was in. So the question is, do we track down this random herd and hope that he's in there? Or do we go the direction that we last saw him headed? The thing is, we can't really see. Okay, you're going to tell me we can't jump up here? What in the actual? There we go. Like, I would imagine they're probably over there. But then we got a cabbage field over there as well. Oh, jackpot. Oh my God, we found him. Oh my God. There he is right there. They're going to bed down. Watch. I guarantee it. They're going to bed down right there. I am so glad we decided to actually look for tracks because that is how we found him. Well, I see one right there. There they are. Ooh. See, the problem here is the closer we get to these Mouflon, 
the more the wind is going to be blowing directly at these wolves. And then they're going to catch our scent. So to me, I feel like we're not going to have a ton of time to get lined up for a shot on this big mouflon. Especially the fact that this whole pack of wolves already knows we're here. And there he is right there, 160 yards away from us, guys. Look at the size of that ram. Now, I also remember that the vitals on these things are a little bit lower than what you would expect. So that means we got a hold for the heart. Otherwise, we could potentially get the spine. But I think we're going to go for the shot. Smoked him. So we actually held a little bit higher to compensate for a tad bit of drop. But basically we just held for kind of the top of the heart. And I think we made a pretty awesome shot. It's looking pretty good. Yes it is. That's a vital hit guys. That is a vital hit. It's going to be a 156 gold. And we got a perfect double lung shot at 160 yards. Now that elevation was absolutely beautiful. So basically we were holding for kind of center lung to compensate for a little bit of drop because 10 yards, this thing does have a little bit of drop, but we also had elevation to factor in as well. And we compensated just right. Ended up making a perfect center double lung shot on a beautiful move on. Look at this thing. Look at the color on this thing. So this is actually, let's find out what this is. This is a brown mouflon. The one that we got before was a light brown, which was still cool. But this thing is absolutely stunning looking. Look at the curls on that. Wow. Well, it's probably going to be our biggest mouflon of today's hunt. I'll tell you that. They really don't get too much bigger. And I've never gotten a diamond before. I have gotten a couple of fives, but they didn't end up being diamonds. And I think 179 is diamond. So I, I'm pretty sure I've gotten like a couple of 175s and 176s. So I guess there's a chance that today we may be able to break that 160 or 170 mark. And if we could, oh, it's going to be awesome. Honestly, we need a map like this for bighorn sheep. I remember when this map first came out, there was no bighorn, but now there are bighorn, and I just feel like this map would be perfect for bighorn. Maybe not necessarily, you know, Quattro Colinas, but something like this to where there's different levels and layers that you can hunt, right? You have the bottoms, which are normal, but then you have the middle section, and you can go all the way to the top, which is where a lot of the massive rams hang out. And that's why I remember when this map first came out, it was one of my favorite maps just because of the fact that you could see and you could hunt in pretty much any type of vegetation that you wanted to. Even for example, look at where we're hunting right now. Look at this. You know, this would be the perfect spot where the bighorn would bed and you could just sneak right up on them with a bow, you know, spot and stalk them. Like this vegetation here is perfect cover to be able to get close to bighorns. Look at this. We got a wild boar right there. Not a big one, but it's definitely a boar. And we're going to go for the shot. About 200 yards out here. Ooh, I think he actually might see us. So we're going to have to hold. You know, I really don't know where to hold, to be honest. I would say to hold right for the spine, but then we might drop low. So I feel like maybe we should hold above the spine. Yeah. That's where we got to hold above the spine so that means that the wild hog that we shot yesterday we actually shot low i was holding for spine for 200 and i thought that'd be good enough uh raise but apparently it wasn't all right so the question is did we drop that boar no it went maybe like 10 yards and piled right up all right here it is and perfect shot left lung at 220 yards we we're holding for right here and we got about eight inches of drop so that's good to know if we're shooting 200 yards well 220 we got to hold about three inches above the spine oh there was a bunch of wild boar up here i kind of had a feeling there might have been let's try and figure out where they went though i feel like they would have ran this way right 
Got one, two, three. Oh, there they all are. Decent boar, decent boar. 230 yards. Holy, is there a lot of pigs out there. Look at them all. 250 yards. That could be a shot if he turned. Oh, he's slowing down. Got him! No freaking way! No freaking way we got him! He's hit. He is hit. And the good thing is, is that if you don't get him right away, you can get a second chance. So I wonder if that's the female that was in the end, or if that's the female that's in the beginning. I'm not sure. But the point is, you can push them like this from one spot to the next spot and find a nice opening, even in the thick, in the thick parts here, to where you can spot them again for a second time. All right, so why is it so difficult to find our wild boar that we're- There he is! 270 yards. We know how to shoot 200. Well, we know how to shoot 220. Right over the top of him. Right over the top of him. He's at 0% too. All right, well, we're going to mark our wild boar over there. And... Boy, it's getting kind of laid out. We may run into him tomorrow. But for now, it's getting pretty laid out here, so we're going to have to change the time. I think we'll go over from here and work our way around this mountain tomorrow. Okay, I'm not joking, but it's the next day now, and we literally just spotted, I'm pretty sure, the exact same wild boar coming in over this next ridge here. He's out there quite a ways out, about 300 yards out. There he is right there, 315 yards out. But that, I do believe, is gold potential. So this may be even bigger than our other wild boar. But we got to try and cut him off because he's gaining quite a bit of ground. Now, I do believe we can probably get somewhere around 200 yards before he potentially spooks. So I think we'll actually get right to the edge of this uh, sunflower field here, and we should be good. All right, come on. Hopefully he's right out there. Where is he at? Oh, there he is! Oh my god, it worked perfect! It worked perfect! There he is! 250 yards! Remember, hold right above the spine. Right above the spine. Holy, that thing is moving! Alright, so now we're roughly 200. Oh my god. Don't make me do it. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? What a shot! We connected! Oh my god, he was almost gone. We literally had a split second to pull off that shot, or he would have been behind that next hill, and we would have never gotten a shot off. That was a lot of work. We had to cut all the way across this field, get to the top of this ridge here, sneak across, and try and beat him before he got there, and he almost beat us. Almost. But luckily, we got some practice in with this thing, so we know how to pull off that shot. I wouldn't recommend taking a shot like that, but in this case here, that's all we had. All right, I believe he's laying right over here somewhere. And there he is down right here. Took him on the walk at 200. We kind of got ripped. He wasn't quite big enough to be gold, but he's a 96.8. And we pulled off a walking 222 yard double lung spine shot. Beautiful, beautiful shot. So at first when I saw this silver and I saw the vertebrae, I thought, oh, we might have been a little bit high. But then I saw a lung pop up here and then that's when I realized that he just wasn't quite big enough. Still a massive boar, 342 pounder. And we made a super epic shot. I mean, we were a tad bit high, but the fact that we got double lung, you can't consider that a high shot at all. What a shot and what a nice wild boar down. Definitely our biggest wild boar of the hunt for sure. And a very, very special one at that. Ooh, there we go. Big Mouflon. Big Mouflon. Where'd he go? There. Right there, right there, right there. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't really get a shot off here. Because he's moving, but... Is he coming this direction? Oh my god, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. Watch him. Oh, that's him. He put it down right there. Okay, he's 150 yards out from us right there. 
But that is not good enough for a shot. He's in too much brush. That ram right there may be a 160 plus. Look at the size of the curl on that thing. Boy, that's going to be a super, super difficult shot right there. But I think we're going to go for it. You know what? We actually may try and stand up here so it notices us. And, well, we don't want it to take off, but alert is one thing. Wow. Okay. We were literally holding right on the heart. But luckily the vitals are super low on these things. And as it turned, I think we got a heart shot. I don't know what else we could have hit. Oh my god, that was a close shot. Wow. He was turning the exact moment we were squeezing the trigger there. But we got him. He went straight down. Straight down. All right, he's piled up right behind this tree right there. And there he lays. There he lays. Let's take a look. Ended up getting a quartering away double lung shot. So because the vitals are so low in these things, we were holding for the heart, or so I thought. I honestly thought we were holding for like right here. Um, but we ended up getting a double lung shot. It was only 120 yards, we're zeroed in for 160. So we did get a little bit of elevation with our shot, but that shot turned out to be an absolutely incredible shot placement and a 155 gold. And this is actually a brown mouflon. So there we go, look at that. You can see it was turning as we took that shot. Just such a perfect shot placement right there. Wow. So in case you're wondering where we're hunting right now, we're hunting by the Lago de los Olivos. We started out over here, we hunted through all this, and now we're hunting right here. We're working away kind of along the edge of this mountain here. I know there's a lot of mouflon that like to hang out here, which we happen to have a tent here and a tree stand here. So let's work our way over there and kind of see what happens. Well, we were hoping to find a big mouflon, but we found something even more special. We got a huge stag right down there at about 400 yards right through that little opening there but take a look at this view you would think that there'd be a very slim chance at seeing anything down here but it just so happens that we got a nice little pocket right there we're gonna try for the shot 400 yards i have absolutely no clue where to hold but no 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 oh my god we hit him oh my god we hit him all right, so unfortunately, I don't believe that that shot is gonna take down that stag. But I do, however, wanna find out where we actually hit. The shot was almost 400 yards, and we've never attempted a shot like that, ever. So if we can find it and put a follow-up into it, that would be awesome. He's not giant either. Oh, got some Ronda Ibex over there. That's a good Ibex. Probably gold potential. About 230 out there. Now we could go for that shot, and I think we may. That was a clean. Oh my god, big four, big four, big four. So it's actually a good thing that we missed. Because now we got a potential to take down a big four Ronda Ibex. How far was that shot, by the way? 220 yards. We should have hit that thing. That was odd. Maybe we dropped a little bit low, but... Well, we'll get a second chance at that big four. There he is. Rolled him right over! What a shot! Alright. Well, that was pretty cool. Definitely did not miss him that time. So, I want to get back on this track. And then we'll go pick up that 
Nice Ronda Ibex. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look what we just found. We got eyes on the red deer. There's a six out there. I do believe that's his track. Oh my god, we found our stag. That's our stag. Wow. So he's not really as big as I thought he was. But at this point, I kind of just want to finish him off. I think we're going to try and take him down with the AR. He's still roughly 350 out there. All right, first shot missed. But the second and third shot did not. Uh, still... Not exactly bringing him down the way I wanted him to, but that should eventually take him down. All right, well, here's our Ronda Ibex. And it looks like a nice vital hit, too. It's a spine double lung shot and a 94 gold, 236 yard shot there. But a nice, nice Ronda Ibex. So, let's find out how our 400 yard shot did with the muzzler. Oh my god, we were just a little bit high. I mean, just barely a little bit high. Wow. But surprisingly, that vertebrae shot did not bring down the stag. That's another beautiful looking stag out there at about 180 yards out. Another level 7. We should be able to take the shot from right here. Looked like a perfect shot to me, and it was. He is not going to be going far. All right, we took our stag down right here. And he went about 25 yards and piled right up. Well, let's take a look at him. It's going to be a 183. This guy's actually going to be a gold and a left lung shoulder blade shot. In fact, we were going straight for the heart. That was a perfect shot, but the shoulder blade slowed it down before it got a chance to quite get there. Wow, what an epic, epic shot. But anyways, on that note, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Boy, what a nice looking stag.